at the end of the 2019 Doctor Who New Year's Day special resolution, the Doctor and co managed to defeat the Dalek by using a microwave to melt its casing. This comes shortly after the Dalek manages to rebuild its casing, or at least a scrap metal version of it, and goes on a killing rampage, eventually ending up in GCHQ, where the Doctor and friends defeat it. And then they just... leave. They don't come in there to remove all the melted Dalek parts, to dispose of anything that could be dangerous, they just, they just leave it there. They just leave and go off for more adventures in series 12. This has led many people to suspect that the new black and red slash black and blue Daleks appearing in the upcoming special revolution of the Daleks could in fact be created by humans based on the melted, broken parts of the recon Dalek from Resolution after they were discovered in GCHQ and then they commissioned more versions of it to be used by the human race. This would definitely make sense, it would definitely explain the similarities in design, seeing as the new Daleks basically look like a non-scrap metal version of the Recon Dalek, and would certainly be an interesting plot point with it being similar to plot points we've had in previous Dalek stories such as Victory of the Daleks and Power of the Daleks, but different enough that it will feel unique. And that's what I wanted to talk about today, are these new Daleks created by humans? I'll talk about all the reasons why they could be, and all the reasons why they can't be. Because there's as much evidence to say they could be human Daleks as there are to say they can't be, and I can't work out which one it will be. So, in the Doctor Who magazine and lots of interviews, not as a direct response to this theory, but Chibnall and the production team have been saying that Revolution of the Daleks will be as much of a sequel to Resolution as it is a standalone story, with Chibnall saying that this new Dalek design looked very similar to the Recon Dalek, and that might be a plot point. This would definitely swing this in favour of these Daleks are created by humans based off the Recon Dalek from that episode, as well as all the comments saying it's a sequel to Resolution, which again would strengthen this argument. Also in the recent Doctor Who magazine there's been talk of the fact that this all happened as a direct result of the attack on GCHQ, which was where the, Dal the broken Dalek was left at the end of, again, the Resolution. Even from the trailer that we got, it seems to be implying this theory by Jack Robertson stating that these machines are going to change the world, implying that some human, whether that be the scientist he's talking to or someone else, has created these new Daleks. There's also some more evidence for this with cast member Nathan Stewart Jarrett saying that his character Leo, who is a scientist, is really excited about discovery creation in science which again definitely seems to imply that this could be, in fact be a human-made Dalek. But, as with any theory, there are some flaws. How on earth did they get hold of some Dalek mutants? So if you remember, at the end of Resolution, after the casing of the Dalek is blown up by a microwave, the actual creature inside the Dalek mutant survives, takes control of Ryan's dad, and then gets thrown into a supernova and seemingly dies. Which means, unlike the rest of its casing and the rest of the Dalek, it wasn't left in GCHQ. This means that if the Daleks were created from a base model of this blown up Dalek from GCHQ, they would have no way of knowing what the creature inside looked like or what it composed of, and they would have no way of accessing one to use inside these Daleks. Now this wouldn't be a problem if the trailer hadn't come out, but in the trailer it shows that there's a big emphasis on the actual Dalek mutant itself, meaning they would have had to have got hold of one somehow. And unfortunately for this theory, that place they got it from couldn't be GCHQ, as mentioned earlier, the Dalek mutant was not inside GCHQ by the end of the episode. I guess you could say they might have some Dalek mutants they've captured from previous Dalek invasions, or they could have even found some traces of DNA on the casing and used that to recreate the Dalek mutant, which would be quite interesting, and again, they could have gotten into the sewer in Sheffield where the Dalek mutant was originally found and got some DNA samples there. So it's not too unlikely that they could have somehow recreated this Dalek mutant, but I don't know if just what was there would be enough for the humans to go on to fully recreate it. 
I think when this theory first started circulating around, the assumption would be that these Daleks would turn out to be like AI and completely animatronic robots as opposed to squids inside tanks. But after the trailer confirmed that they would indeed be squids inside tanks. But this theory is still discussed and I think it's highly likely that this could possibly become true. It's just the one crucial detail of the Dalek mutant that does throw a spanner into the works. People are saying in this case if these are created by humans, these aren't the proper Daleks. And I guess you could say that's true, they aren't Scaro Daleks, Daleks originating from Scaro. But if they are creating these new casings and these new mutants, that's all a Dalek really is. And if they are creating these new mutants from Dalek DNA, then these are proper Daleks. Or I guess you could say these are clones of Daleks. But if these Daleks were created by humans, and then the bronze Daleks show up, it would definitely make sense with the line we heard on Clifton Suspension Bridge, where one of the bronze Daleks says, you are impure to the new design of Dalek. But I want to know what you think, tell me down in the comment section below, did you enjoy this discussion type video? But yeah, do you think these Daleks were created by humans from the remnants of the Recon Dalek from GCHQ? That was a mouthful of a sentence. But whatever you think, I've been Cyberman Alf, and from me for now, it's goodbye.